Got another story? Very well. There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well. The son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside, they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. It's really not a story. If the sun jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. Boy. Yes, sir. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a treasure map! care of that. Come and face me, God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. First we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy. My father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eyesore to the south. Nice! That spirit. The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Let his story be a reminder. The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. Good. Got any more short and purposeful stories from it? Very well. There is a tale about a woodsman. He asked the trees of the forest for a branch to make a handle for his axe. But instead, the trees gave him a young sapling so they could keep their limbs. The woodsman made his axe, and then he returned, and chopped down the oldest trees in the forest. Hmm. Just because trees are old doesn't mean they're smart.
happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they died anyways. <laughs> That was good, right? You are more focused. to build statues this big. Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. I see something down there. Well, here it is. It's got to have a weak one. Somewhere. doing this himself. Gods do not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. Father, why did the gods cause so much trouble for us? Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. Good. You there? Have you destroyed the statue? The statue stands no longer, spirit. Then my bond to this realm is severed. And I am off to find the real God of Thunder. He will know retribution. My deepest gratitude. Off he goes. Brave guy. Going to look for Thor on his own. He is a fool. What did the spirit leave us? An offering to one of the gods. Can we use it? No. But perhaps the dwarves can. <laughs> 